going on everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Ben this is 3T's Mobile Automotive Repair and today we've got a 2019 Chevy what is this a Tahoe yeah it's a Tahoe customer put in a new TCM so we're here to program it let's see if we get it done all right what's up y'all so we're just doing typical SPS programming here Nothing fancy. We're going to program the engine control module, or engine control module, transmission control module. All right, here we go. Add a VIN. So, customer put in a TCM. Um, they had a few issues with it. I did not diagnose it. They diagnosed it themselves. Um, so, they called us out to come and do the program. So, we're going to go ahead and get that done. And hopefully, we ain't got no problems with Tech Connect today. I know they've been having some problems here and there, but everything on this should be just fine. <laughs> Gotta love Tech Connect. Every time you reopen that thing back up, it has to have re-downloads and updates for the MDI software and all this crap. So, we're just waiting on that, and then we'll get into some programming. Okay, starting service programming. There we go. All right. Key on. Let's connect to vehicle. All right. So we got our. Which one? I never remember which VCM I got. I think it's just this one. All right. Let me show you the screen. Okay. We just dinged. going to replace and reprogram oh where's my VIN uh, nope we need to do auto detect VIN because we're not pulling our VIN here there we go that looks good yep 2019 Tahoe four wheel drive okay Your Cypress Hill playing in the background. All right, let's just confirm that last date. So seven three five one seven. Yep. All right, our VIN is good. Let's go to replace and reprogram. Freaking phone's ringing. Definitely not answering that right now. All right, we're gonna hit next. Boom boom boom. Okay, let's go find our transmission module here. Transmission control module, K71. Reprogramming. Next. This will take one of our pin slots. Proceed. Okay, there we are, we're in here. Transmission, it's all updated with the latest. We're all set for the latest calibration numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna start programming. Okay, downloading. Verified. Now we're gonna wait for the ECU to connect. So as long as this thing doesn't have any problems having power going to that trans for transmission control module, we should have no problem connecting to that vehicle. Okay, there we go, we're starting program. All right, we'll let that roll for a few minutes and we can talk a little bit if you guys want. So, got some exciting things coming towards the channel here within the next, uh, this year, totally. Um, or totally, that was the dumbest thing in the world to say, but we had exciting things happening. Um, we're gonna be making some changes to the company um we're gonna be doing this a lot more um we're gonna transition a little bit of the company my wife is going to be 
becoming an employee later this year. Um, we've finally gotten to the point where she's going to be the one that could be answering the phone, handling the text messages, talking with the customers, doing the all around, the walk around pictures and DVI inspections and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to be kind of doing a transition. I won't really talk too much about it right here because I haven't really put all the details together, but um, it's just something that is going to better us as a whole and the company and our channel. Um, and we're going to be, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to really say too much more here. It's just later on in time, in a couple of months, you'll start seeing a little bit more change and change and change, um, especially towards the end of the year. At uh, the end of the year, we got some pretty hefty goals um, and some places that we want to go. So uh, there's an event that's in North Carolina. It's I think it's called ASTA. Uh, we're going to go to that this year um, because there's, one, there's a ton of guys there and girls, uh, women, that are leaders in this industry. And we're going to go to that um, because it's going to be really cool. It's a it's a full weekend event. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, that means I got to get on a plane. I don't know how I feel about that because I've never been on a plane before, and I don't like planes because they fall down and go boom. Um, but outside of that, um, yeah, got some pretty hefty goals for this year. So make sure you guys stick around, subscribe, and follow along so you can see what we got going on. But in the meantime, we're going to get back to this uh, reprogram. We've got about two minutes left on the program here, and then we'll see if it takes. If that takes... We'll take our warranty pictures, and then we have to go do transadapt relearns on the drive. So, just like that Equinox the other day where I didn't finish reading some of the FPS, yeah, I read this beforehand so I can make sure we were doing all the right stuff. So, anyway, two minutes and 13 seconds left. Let's get back at it. Let's see what our next steps are. Bam. All right, there's our warranty claim code. Our VIN has been updated. Let's take a picture of this first, though. Let me get rid of uh, that. Take a picture of that. Okay. Mandatory controller specification instructions to be uh, respected. Clearing DTCs will erase stored history data from all controllers on the data link connector. Move your interface to any additional auxiliary data connectors. Da 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 da. When the when it's finished, return the interface to the. Okay, that's cool. Um. We're gonna clear DTCs, because that's typical. Let's go ahead and fire it. Okay. All right, now let's go grab a scan tool and see what we have to do on any references and stuff like that. Okay, well, I'm glad the programming is done because the power just shut off of my trailer and that would have shut my internet down. Let's get my laptop and get it out of here. Move that and this this hoopty up there okay i'm not taking you i'll be right back i gotta go clean everything up real quick Your original problem is still there. I put it in reverse, it went forward. I put it in drive, it went forward. Assuming I don't know what your original problem was, but. The three, when I look at my data, it still shows uh, gear three command that the uh, pressure is high on that. So there is the chance that the repair you guys did just wasn't the right repair. And now that you've put a module in it to actually bypass the module you had put in because yours is not here or not in the vehicle I don't know I wasn't here for that initial concern you can tell me again what your initial problem was maybe I could work it out a little bit more in my head but again it, it's hard to say if I wasn't you here for that or reverse. or reverse and that was with the problem you were having did you have uh, individual codes at that point at that time do you remember no okay um, yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell you really what it you... It didn't never tell me anything in the car itself. It says the check engine light came on. Yeah, it usually won't if you lose gears like that. And 
So maybe you were 100% correct because now the vehicle actually does go into drive and before it was not going into drive with your TCM, you know, your diagnosis may be correct. So whoever told me to do something that I did on the car, it would go in, in drive. That's why it was so far close do to you the house because it would go. Do you remember what you did that day? Whatever that video was you sent me. Remember? Yeah. Um, turn it off, turn it on, push the brake in, hold it for like 30 seconds, let it off. I think that's your trans adapt to relearn, like a manual way to do it versus uh, with our scanner. Um, <clears throat> I'll go back over the information, you know, one more time just to make sure that, you know, it's not something that we can relearn out, but I highly un un highly unlikely. You have a mechanical arm that moves an internal shaft and it's either gonna apply the fluid in this gear or it's not gonna apply the fluid in that gear. And that's where the shift solenoids will move and it's just gonna open or close to allow fluid to divert down certain passages to apply that pressure to a clutch basket. And that clutch basket will get the fluid pressure and it's got clutch plates in it and it's either gonna work or it won't. So to, for reverse to go in forward, something's got to be screwed up in there either a that you guys did when you had the pan off or b maybe it's just broke we don't really know i don't really know i can't explain that just because i wasn't here that day on the initial diagnosis all i can say is that my job today was a success i have the warranty which i need to send to you because the company you got your tcm from if they ever give you a problem saying oh you didn't program it right no we have the warranty code for it so that way you can cover your butt on that side of it if you ever have a problem with it down the road. Um, all right, so that was good. Tech Connect worked. Everything was fine. Um, I'm enjoying doing more of this programming only because I got out of it a long time ago and I, I'm going to keep doing it more and more now um, because I enjoy it and it's good money and I like doing that type of work. So that really worked out well, except that the vehicle is not truly fixed. Um, again, we did not diagnose that vehicle, so it is not our problem at this point, except that that is now my customer, so mentally it's my problem, and I wanna help them get to, the, to an answer as best as we can. So it's being weird. Um, so something's definitely wrong in that transmission because when you put it in drive, it goes forward. When you put it in reverse, it goes forward. When you put it in neutral, it goes forward. So, so anyway, I'm done. I'm headed home. It's 3.30. Our day's done. We're going to get out of here. I appreciate you guys. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next job.